A group of unionized academic workers at UCLA has initiated the second round of strikes over the University of California's handling of pro-Palestinian protests. The workers, represented by United Auto Workers Local 4811, had previously engaged in strikes at UC Santa Cruz as part of what the union described as the initial wave of planned walkouts. The second phase of strikes commenced on Tuesday at UCLA and UC Davis. In the early hours of Tuesday morning, a small contingent of workers picketed on the UCLA campus, with a large rally scheduled for later in the day. The workers launched the strike in response to alleged free speech violations stemming from recent demonstrations, which included the deployment of militarized police officers from various external law enforcement agencies to forcibly remove and arrest peaceful protesters at UCLA, UC Irvine, and UC San Diego. The union also cited unilateral changes to employee discipline standards, free speech rights, and academic freedom, as well as disciplinary actions against employees participating in peaceful protests. UC officials have refuted the union's claims and lodged unfair labor practice complaints, contending that the union's labor agreement contains a no-strike clause and that the union's demands fall outside the purview of typical labor issues. In a pre-strike authorization vote statement, the University of California Office of the President expressed concerns over the potential introduction of non-labor matters into labor agreements, cautioning that permitting strikes for political and social disputes could significantly disrupt UC's ability to fulfill its commitments to students, the community, and the state of California. UCLA's Vice Chancellor for Strategic Communications, Mary Osako, emphasized the university's commitment to supporting students during the strike noting that disruptions caused by external factors hinder the learning environment. The union represents various academic roles, including teaching assistants, readers, tutors, student researchers, and academic researchers. UAW Local 4811 is urging UC institutions to grant amnesty to all academic staff and students facing arrest or disciplinary measures for participating in protests. Additionally, the union is advocating for students to be guaranteed freedom of speech and political expression on campus and for researchers to have the option to disassociate from funding sources linked to the Israeli Defense Force. Annie Valoria Winnett, a representative of the academic union, underscored the minimal nature of their requests, highlighting the university's lack of engagement with their concerns. To cease the strike and resume teaching and research activities, the union demands that the university take proactive steps to address their grievances. City News Service Incorporated contributed to this report.